Pathik and Rahi started from two places, Andheri and Bhavnagar, towards Bhavnagar and Andheri respectively at 8.20 a.m. The speeds of Pathik and Rahi are in the ratio 4 is to 5. They meet at Chandni Chowk, somewhere between Andheri and Bhavnagar, spend some time together for coffee and burger, and then both started towards their destination at 9.27 a.m. If Pathik reaches Bhavnagar at 10.32 a.m., how much time did they spend together? So that's an interesting one. Let us see how do we solve this. So there are two guys, P and R, let's say, who have started from two places, Andheri and Bhavnagar, and going towards Bhavnagar and Andheri respectively. So basically, these two guys are moving in the opposite direction, and, and both of them started at 8.20 a.m., 8.20 a.m., right? So it's, it's like this, right? Let's say this is uh, Andheri, right? Andheri, and this is Bhavnagar, right? Andheri and Bhavnagar, uh, and this is the path between these two stations, right? Andheri and Bhavnagar. So, Pathik and Rahi started from Andheri and Bhavnagar, and they are going towards Bhavnagar and Andheri respectively. So, Pathik started from Andheri, he is going towards Bhavnagar, Rahi started from Bhavnagar, and Rahi is going towards Andheri. Okay, both of them started at 8.20 a.m., 8.20 a.m., right? Both of them started together at 8.20 a.m. Now it's obvious that when they're you know traveling in the opposite direction, when they're moving in opposite direction, they will meet somewhere in between. By the way, their speeds are in the ratio of 4 is to 5, right? P speed and R speed, the ratio is 4 is to 5, right? So let's say P by R is equal to 4 by 5, the speed ratio. Now they meet at Chandni Chowk. Let's say let's say they meet somewhere here, right? This is Chandni Chowk. They meet at Chandni Chowk, which is somewhere between these two stations, spend some time together for coffee and burger, and then both started towards the destination at 9:27 a.m. So they meet at this point, there's a meeting point, spend some time together, and at 9.27 a.m., 9.27 a.m., right, they started to, uh, to their respective destinations, right, 9.27 a.m., they started towards their respective destination. So Pathik will continue from here, right, and Brahe will continue towards Andheri, right, that's the idea. Now Pathik reaches Bhavnagar at 10.32 a.m., Right now, they started at 9:27 from this point. Then finally, Pathik will reach this destination. Right at what time? At 10:32 a.m. At 10:32 a.m. This is the time at which Pathik has reached uh, Bhavnagar. How much time did they spend together? The question is, how much time did they spend together? At the meeting point, they spent some time for their coffee and burger. Right. So they were catching up with each other. So how much time did they spend is the question. Now what we have done so far is just the understanding of the question, right? We haven't really solved it. All I've done is uh, the, the text-based question has been represented pictorially. So if you see two stations, Andheri and Bhavnagar, A and B, two guys, Pathik and Rahi, started at 8.20 a.m. towards each other. They met somewhere in between, Chandni Chowk at 9.27 a.m., spent some time together, and then they left for their respective destinations. Pathik reached his destination at 10.32 a.m. Right, Pathik reaches destination at 10:32 a.m. The question is, how much time did they spend at the meeting point at Chandni Chowk? And and the other data given to us is that the speed ratio is 4 is to 5. Right, the speed ratio is 4 is to 5. Right. Now try and understand that uh, you know uh, if you observe uh, this. I mean, they started at 9, forget about 8.20 a.m., right? 8.20 a.m., of course, that started initially. But let's now look at Chandni Chowk, right? Let's now look at the meeting at Chandni Chowk. So after the meeting, they started at 9.27 a.m. Both of them started at 9.27 a.m., right? Pathik reached Bhavnagar at 10.32 a.m. Pathik reached Bhavnagar at 10.32 a.m. Which means how much time has Pathik spent from Chandni Chowk to Bhavnagar? 9.27 to 10.32. So that's like uh, 1 hour and 5 minutes, right? 9.27 plus 1 hour is 10.27. 10.27 plus 5 minutes is 10.32 a.m. So basically I can say that Pathik has taken 1 hour and 5 minutes to cover this distance. Let's say this is D1 and D2. You understand? So Pathik covered D2 in how much time? In 1 hour and 5 minutes. You are able to follow? Pathik covered D2 in the time T which should be equal to what? 10.32 minus 9.27, which is like 65 minutes basically. 65 minutes is 1 hour and uh, 5 minutes, right? So we know that Pathik has taken 65 minutes. Pathik has taken 65 minutes to cover this distance D2, right? 65 minutes to cover this distance D2. Remember, this D2 is what Rahi had covered initially. But Rahi when started at 8.20 a.m., he covered D2. Can you find out that time? Yes, because we know the speed ratio. 
See, the distance is same. The same distance D2 was covered by Rahi. D2 was covered by Pathik in 65 minutes. The same distance D2 was covered by Rahi in how much time is the question that we are trying to answer now. And how can we answer that? Based on the speed ratio given to us. We know that time is inversely proportional to speed. If your speed is less, time taken would be more. If your speed is more, time taken would be less. Right? This is the speed ratio. Right? So I can say that time taken by Pathik to cover D2 divided by time taken by Rahi to cover D2 will be equal to speed of Rahi by speed of Pathik. You understand? Time taken by Pathik to cover D2 divided by time taken by Rahi to cover D2 is equal to speed of Rahi by speed of Pathik. What is the time taken by Pathik to cover D2? This is nothing but time taken by Pathik to cover D2, right? 65 minutes. 65 upon the time taken by Rahi to cover the same distance D2 would be equal to what? Speed of Rahi by speed of Pathik. Speed of Pathik by speed of Rahi is 4 by 5. This is SP by SR, right? 4 by 5. This will be 5 by 4. Simplify what happens. This goes 13 times. 13 fours is 52. So I can say that time taken by Rahi to cover D2 is 52 minutes. Time taken by Rahi to cover D2 is, sorry. Time taken by Rahi to cover D2 is 52 minutes. I'd say this looks too much of, uh, I mean, there's too much of text or writing here, but you know, you need not put all these steps on paper. This diagram, as, as I said, is not required at all. What we're trying to observe is or focus is only on this part D2. D2 was covered by Pathik in 65 minutes. So the same distance D2 would be covered by Rahi in 52 minutes based on the speed ratio that we have here. Understand, at what time did Rahi start? Rahi started at 8.20 a.m. Right, so time at which Rahi, this guy Rahi reached, reached Chandni Chowk. At what time will Rahi reach Chandni Chowk? See, he started at 8.20 a.m. And he took 52 minutes to cover this distance. Rahi started from Bhavnagar, right? From Bhavnagar, he had started initially. At what time? 8.20 a.m. And we know that he has spent 52 minutes to reach Chandni Chowk. Plus 52 minutes. So 8.20 a.m. plus 52 minutes is what? Uh, 9.12? Yes or no? 8.20 plus 50. See, 20 plus 52. See, this is 8 o'clock and 20 minutes. 20 minutes plus 52 minutes is 72 minutes. 72 minutes is like 1 hour and 12 minutes. So 8 hours plus 1 hour and 12 hours, 9 hours and 12 minutes. So 9.12 a.m. 9.12 a.m. That's it. This is what we wanted. We have found that Rahi reached Chandni Chowk at 9.12 a.m. They reached Chandni Chowk at 9.12 a.m. I mean, if Rahi reached Chandni Chowk at 9.12 a.m., uh, this guy Pathik also will reach at 9.20 a.m. This is a meeting point, right? So both of them met each other at what time? 9.12. They left at what time? 9.27. So what is the gap? The time gap? That's your answer. Because he's asking us to find out how much time did they spend together. The time that they've spent together is 9.12 to 9.27. 9.12 to 9.27. So what will be the answer here? It will be 9.27 minus 9.12, which is 15 minutes. That's your final answer. Please do not go by the length of the explanation, right? Don't, don't put all these steps on paper. You can avoid a lot of these steps. I mean, this diagram is only for the sake of explanation. You need not do all this on paper, right? Speed ratio and all that is given in the question itself. All we have to focus on is how much time did Pathik take to cover D2? We have found. You're getting it? I'll, I'll highlight what all needs to be put on paper so that you guys don't misunderstand uh, this to be a lengthy process. Right? The only things that we'll put on paper is 1032 to 927. 65 minutes. Then based on that 65 minutes, you can find out the time taken by Rahi to cover the same distance, 52 minutes. And then 820 plus 52, 912, they reached at 912. Calculate the difference. 912 to 927. We'll get the answer. Right, so all you see in green is what you need to put on paper, right? I mean, this is the answer, right? 15 minutes is the final answer to this question. So I think a very interesting one. You can cut down the number of steps that you put on paper. And, you know, I think arrive at the answer in about 45 seconds to 60 seconds, not more than that.